In under two minutes, we're going to speed through the process of grabbing the ChatGPT API from OpenAI's platform. First thing, head to platform.openai.com. I'll leave that in the video description below. Even if you've already logged into ChatGPT, you'll still need to log into the platform. And once you're in, you'll land on this documents page. Don't be tricked by this API reference tab here. This is actually just more documentation that you can reference later. Instead, go straight to this settings button. And right when you get in, you're on the general tab and then you can see the organization ID listed here. Go ahead and copy that and drop it into a separate document that you keep safe. Next thing we're gonna do is head over to projects and then we're gonna create a new project. In this case, I'll just create one called test project and hit create. Having multiple projects can be very useful if you have multiple tools like make.com or n8n using the APIs or if you have clients and you wanna track their API expenses, etc. Now that we have our project set up here, we're gonna head over to API keys, and then we're gonna create a new secret key. And again, I'm just gonna call this test. And then from here in this dropdown, you can see the project that we just created, test project. So I'm gonna select that one. Permissions, this is also great if you have customers or contractors using your APIs, so you can make these permission decisions here, and then go ahead and create that secret key. Now, keep in mind, you're only gonna see this once, so hit copy and put it in a safe place because once you close this screen, that API is gone. And then lastly, we're gonna head over to the billing section here, and you need to add at least $5 in order for your APIs to work. I tend to go through maybe $10 every month, as long as I'm using the lower cost models, so don't worry about putting too much money there. And with those three items, the company ID, the API, and the project, you should be able to have all the necessary credentials to create a connectivity between your various automation tools. Thanks for joining. Follow if you're into this kind of stuff, and I'll see you next time.